Like, that's all I want out of life right now. And I get to do that at least twice a week. And I haven't gotten to do that in a week, so I think I'm going crazy. <laughs> you just described my life. <laughs> it's like so nice when you get to do that and then you it gets taken away from you you're like ah oh! oh my gosh because i lived with somebody for almost 10 years almost 10 years so then like after he left i've just like discovered like the awesome stuff i want to do that but it sounds gross to me <laughs> no it's not gross and then sometimes like lately i don't care if it's gross but sometimes I don't brush my teeth or shower, you know, like I'll brush my teeth like once a day. I brush my teeth most of the time, twice a day, but sometimes I'm just like not feeling it for a day. So I just will not shower for two days or wash my hair, brush my hair, brush my teeth. Cause I'm just like, I'm just like old now, you know, you just get old and you're just like, do I care anymore? It's already like falling apart anyway. Like, how do you really keep it together at this age? <laughs> be like the Big Lebowski. I love that. That should be my Halloween costume. <laughs> That's going to be my Halloween costume. <laughs> when I have someone stay over after two nights, I'm just like, I want my bed back to myself and sleep in the middle. Me too. I slept, I slept with my dogs on a couch last night. <laughs> Far out, man. Mind if I do a day? And I started smoking weed again. I don't have it here, but I'm going to be smoking on stream again. So that's nice. I've gotten used to smoking weed. <laughs> I stay with a guy for one week, and all of a sudden I'm a pothead again. Who knew? Wow. That's all I needed. <laughs> I was like, no, I can't smoke weed in front of anybody. It makes me anxious. And then I stay with this guy, and I'm like, fuck, I should smoke some fucking weed right now. <laughs> now. Now I can smoke weed all the time again in public and be fine. <laughs> How do you get kicked out on the couch? I chose it. I chose it. I chose it. I thought it'd be better. Brad nasty in full effect. I am now a hippie. <laughs> I have shaved my legs and my vajays, so that's nice. Um, so I actually really prefer train racks. That's like the common one I smoke the most most of the time, train racks. I got so high off weed gummies on Saturday that when I went for a walk, I went for a walk, but I ran home because I couldn't stop giggling to myself. <laughs> I like smoking stizzies, like stizzies. And then, and then, and then the guy, the guy's like, do you ever think you'll not be on any pills one day? And I'm like, why do you say that? Am I like an addict? And he's like, no, just asking. And then this morning I'm like, okay, I got to take my thyroid medicine, pill bottle. I've got to take my antidepressant, <laughs> pill bottle. I've got to take back medicine, <laughs> pill bottle. I've got to take birth control, pill pack. I've got to take my acne medicine pill bottle. I do have an extra bottle of Xanax in case I need those pill bottle. And then I was like, oh my God, is it me? Am I the drama? <laughs> I might be. And I also was like, hey, I'm bringing my ketamine over because I'm doing therapy at your house. <laughs> so I showed up with a bag that's just like shaking and rattling around. <laughs> I actually prodigal. I thought that last night. I I, I said to him, I was like, if I had my pills like in an organizer that were labeled like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, would you think that I had a problem if I was just like scooping into like a, a cup? <laughs> Weed's illegal in Wyoming. Some CBD is okay, but I can't go. Oh, that sucks. Really? It's like all farmland out there. Like, why would weed be legal out there? Wyoming people, there's some crazy drugs in Wyoming. They just some heavy shit. Wayne Dunn, thank you for the nine months. Then a clip of you with Bert Chrysler today. Oh, saw a clip of you with Bert Chrysler today discussing in intimacy combined with pizza. Oh, I do love that. Yes, it is one of my kinks. <laughs> 
It's way less annoying than having to open up every bottle for one pill. That's true. I did see a really viral funny TikTok, and I was like, this girl's a fucking genius. She made all of her pill bottles. She glued them all together, and she made them into a sword. So she had, like, a lightsaber pill bottle. <laughs> she was like, this is how good my mental health is. I was like, actually, that's kind of genius. Great way to to use those things. <laughs> <laughs> There's my TikTok. Is he barking at pork? Hercules, what are you barking at? He doesn't bark, he howls. It can be for self defense. You take your pills for self-defense, and then you also have your pill bottles for self-defense. I like it. If it's not a, if it's not legal, if you don't get caught, that's true. Pizza, no, but chips and cheese with mayo on it, yes. Actually, you know, hey, Big B, thank you for those 29 months. How are you? He howls. He likes to howl. He very rarely... So he does a bark, but it's always followed with howls. He doesn't ever just bark. It's really crazy. I don't think he learned how to just bark. Very weird. Oh, isn't it cute, Planet Nixia? Also, I have like a crazy video of Anaya. Um, so I think she sees dead people. Oh, hey, Rusty. How you doing? Good to see you. Big B, I'm going to be cooking on Friday. Make sure you come into the stream. I asked, I reached out. I, I'm going to cook, I'm going to cook, um, three different things. So I'm going to, I want to cook like, uh, something healthy, something unhealthy, and then I'm going to bake something. So if you have any recommendations, please put it into stream, Discord. Um, we'll probably spend about six, seven hours baking, cooking, all that stuff. Yeah, so she just, like, stares into the hallways or into, like, the corners, and then she gets real low, and then she, like... <laughs> and she does that for a very long time. If dogs can sense evil, then I don't see why they couldn't with ghosts. Yeah, because I have a ghost that follows me. And then the other day, I was like, oh my gosh, I see a ghost in my friend's house. And then she started growling down the stairs for no reason. So, I think she sees the ghost. I love Marcus Dupre. Riviet. That's all I know. Yeah, she's smart. She's a smart one. Thank you. Thank you for the hair compliments. Hey, Wayne. Wayne, thank you for the nine months. If I didn't say that. Also, Daniel Monster Radcliffe. I don't know. Did I say thank you for the eleven months? And the Mac attack. Thank you so much. I hope you're having an awesome day. Oh, I have a sage necklace. Not a necklace. A sage stick. Matt, there was a ghost on my stream, and people even dissected the video. The legit ghost. Give Anaya an EMF reader and get her ghost hunting. <laughs> Thank you, Peyroni. Thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm working on figuring out how to style it a little bit more. But once, once the shag, once it's washed and this shag is there, it'll be really cool. Dogs are hypersensitivity to any form of chemical imbalance. Ah. Oh, let me see if I have my medication so I can take it. It's my UTI. Yeah, come here! Hey, come here! Yeah, come here. Punch it back, 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 punch it back
He's angry, angry. You guys hear that? You angry, angry. You real life angry. You real life angry. Are you real life angry, you little munchkin? He angry. <laughs> You can't take the rough housing, can you? Huh? Oh my goodness. Get him, Anai. Noosa, get your 